chair of the Grenada National Reparations Commission, Ali Gill, maintains that it is a moral imperative that European institutions that are still benefiting from the legacy of slavery apologize and atone for those unconscionable harms. Marking Emancipation Day on Monday, Gill in a statement issued said that in spite of our great achievements, we should never let our ability to resist and rise above those grave injustices stand in the way of fighting for what we know is right and just. Marking 184 years since slavery was abolished by Britain, Gill says the day for this apology has come and the descendants of enslaved Africans must rise to the challenge and make an apology a reality. Grenada Cultural Foundation Emancipation Panel, as part of Emancipation Day activities, organized a discussion under the theme, A Resilient People Overcoming Challenges. Media personality Brenda Batiste hosted the discussion with guests Dr. Wendy Grenade, Dr. Francis Martin, Dr. Reverend Osbert James, Josh Hector, and Adrian Green. Dr. Grenade highlighted the resilience of the Grenadian people, but there are some areas she wants to see improvement, as her belief is that there's still a long way to go towards achieving the freedom we so deserve. Bring back that spirit of community where we would look out for each other. You, you're in your community and there's a young man or young woman who is an alcoholic. What happens to that person? How does the community treat to that person? What systems we have in place um, at the level of the state? Uh, what institutions do we have for psychosocial support? for mental health support. Um, I think there's a lot that needs to be done, but we also have to celebrate what we've done well. This is our emancipation. Dr. Francis Martin's perspective is that we need to understand the difference in the psychology that the trauma of slavery have caused us as a people of the Caribbean and African descent, as it is not the same for Caucasians. Dr. Martin says that we know even more so now that even the medicines we use to treat chronic diseases in the white population just does not work in the black population. We are different, we're shaped differently, we behave differently. Why do you want to measure me by some standards that was developed in the Caucasian population? We need our nutritionists to get on board with us for that. As a people, we need to move back and step back and see what it is we have here that can help us heal our own diseases, our own remedies, or things that we can do. And only when we start that going back, stepping back, then we'll be able to move forward and manage our disease for us here in the Caribbean. The laying of the wreath in memory of those who were sold as slaves was done on Monday. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.